years ago, the town of Eureka, Nevada came to be. 160 years have passed, and still we persist. Our town stands as an example of fortitude and optimism that have inspired generations of families to live here. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for a musical journey through the past, performed on the historic Eureka Opera House stage. Brought to you by the students of Eureka County High School, this is Eureka Memories. The year is 1864. A group of tired and withered prospectors stand facing these mountains. They've been traveling east for many miles. Their hometown, Austin, has long since disappeared beyond the horizon. A tough and lonely journey, but these guys have serious fortitude. Fortitude is the only thing that keeps them going in this struggle of the mountain. Reaching the top, they set up camp and help to find a silver ore in the hills. Sure enough, after weeks of searching, these prospectors track a surprising deposit of silver. They are so excited by their discovery that they decide to stay here and make their own community. That community, with its humble beginnings as a canvas tent and campfire, would someday become Eureka, the most boring town in Nevada. <laughs> <clears throat> that community, with its humble beginnings as a canvas tent and campfire, would someday be Eureka, a wonderful example of history of the history and the Words of the silver state. All right, let's sing. Some old prospectors looked around and hoped the silver would be found. Discoveries beneath the ground led to the founding of our town. From grounds of opinion, rising lords of silver, last for super cool old railroad lines. Oh, how I love this town of mine. Here it goes. Towards fortune. Foolish brother. The rod does nothing, Barnaby. 
Look, women, it don't matter if it works or not, as long as we end up with some silver. As for me, I won't stop chasing this dog until I find something that glitters. Look, brother, I found something that glitters. Silver? Truly? Can it be? Stop that! This is a hoodie, not a leash. <laughs> Look, brother, there's me a random filly over there in the bushes. But she shine brighter than the finest silverware. What? Did they not have orthodontics in 1864? <laughs> Listen here, partner. Where can I find some, er, uh, what do you call it? Ortho dominoes? <laughs> to give my smile a makeover. And while I'm at it, how much will that cloak you wear? Cloak? It's a hoodie. Duh. I'd give it to you for ten. A dime? No, silly. Ten dollars. This ain't my grandma's yard sale. Ten dollars? That's outrageous! Emily, you just altered the course of history. Be careful how far you take that. What do you mean? You're supposed to be the responsible old goat. Wrong! I'm just a ghost. Now this is where your boot camp begins. Help these prospectors to find some silver. Silver? Where?
got to say, you did a great job of helping those settlers to settle in Eureka. Even if you almost blew it by trying to get into the holy culture. I wish I could erase Eureka from existence. Oh! Erase Eureka? Why would you want to do that? Because it's the most boring town in the world. Even the founder guy agreed. That was only before he found the silver. His mind changed quite quickly, and yours will too. Can I go home now? This is not home. It was my home once. I was a young lad here. You lived here? What year was it? In 1869, silly. Who else do you want to know? I could tell you the color of the sky, the name of the four seasons. I could also tell you my name. It's Carter. Go on, shake this dashing young boy's head. I'm Emily. Emily, it's good to meet you. Are you from Eureka too? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> right, me too. I work for the mines, but I never have to go on the ground. My job is to haul wagon loads of ore to Austin so we can be processed there while well, smelters are being constructed back here in Eureka. How far is Austin? It's about 70 miles west of here. I'm about to go on a journey right there right now. You want to come? Seriously? You? Whoa, Emily. You're the problem, not him. <laughs> it would be fun. I even split my pay with you. What? Like a dime? Not worth it. Nope. I get a total of ten dollars. If you're willing to come with me, I'll even share it with you. Why? Well, it's pretty lonely out there. I'm quite sure the path out to Austin is the loneliest road in America. Some things never change. <laughs> and it's dangerous too. Wild animals, unexpected blizzards, bad water. If you get sick, there's no doctor to help you. Young folks even get dysentery. Dysentery? Are there snake bites too? It's a possibility. Measles? Cholera? A fire breaks out in your wagon? Ox wanders off? Just to date? Well, we use horses, not oxen, but, but again, anything's possible out in the wilderness. And you're trying to force me over here? No thanks. Mm. This is one of those slow, pixelated computer games my parents used to play. Of course I won't help him. Wrong answer, Emily. Hope the young lad delivered his load to Austin, and you'll be that much closer getting back home for 2024. You're going to make me go with him, aren't you? You betcha. Carter, wait. <laughs> Let's go to Austin. Really? You changed your mind? I have no choice but to come with you. Hooray! Destiny has brought us together. <laughs> this is going to be a really long ride, isn't it? You betcha. <laughs>
You're about to find out. Good luck. Time's up. Better luck next time. What? We were so close. That's just too darn bad. You know, my company, $4 million. Now you pay up. Not so fast, Mr. Boss Man. You made a deal. You gotta keep your promise. The deal was that the devil be paid. It and only it. The line was complete by noon on October 27th. Wrong. It says here. It says here that the railroad must reach within the city limit of Eureka by noon on October 27th in order for the debt to be paid. Completion of the railroad isn't mentioned anywhere. You may be right, but even so, we're mile away from the city limits. Not according to this document. <laughs> this document, signed right here by the county clerk himself, says that, as of yesterday, the city limits have been extended one mile to the north. Therefore, this railroad has reached within this limit. <laughs> what? This is true. No, this is the real deal. Yeah, hey, yeah. <laughs> you say that? Look, I wasn't about to pick up a sledgehammer and break my back trying to finish the railroad at the time. The obvious choice was to expand, extend the city limit. That sounds like a difficult not really. I had five dollars on me, and County Clerk Littlemore takes the bribes. Well, looks like our troubles are far over. The debt paid off. You can go relax now. Not quite. One more round to go. Then you can relax. Good luck, guys. Please, someone tell me that the railroad's almost finished. I don't know how long I can keep on going being a wagon driver. Without Emily, I miss her so much. Who? Emily, she drove a wagon with me six years ago. She won. It's been six years, kid. You have your life to live, she has hers. Obviously, she doesn't want to spend it with you. You can stay here all you like, but you can't change the truth. What? I was friends with Emily once, and I will be again. Let's get this rear of finished first. <clears throat>
she came back. Emily! You were back and finally back in my life. <laughs> Why did you disappear? I didn't mean to disappear. It was Joe's fault. But don't blame me. I had to keep working to support my family. <laughs> I, now that the railroad has reached Eureka, I promise that I'll have more time for you. But Carter, I wasn't blaming you. Now, are you coming back to 2024 with me or not? I miss you so much. And you look just as you did six years ago. Time travel, duh. <laughs> oh, and you still have an amazing hoodie. She's a warm and cozy, and it looks great on you. Huh? <laughs> looks fantastic on you. Well, <laughs> what do we want to do? I don't know. What? <laughs> Here. Well, I guess we can go look around Palisade. Hey. Yeah. Palisade seems really cool. Well, surely you'd be more impressed with it than what you have to see. If it's not like Eureka, then yeah, I'll be impressed. <laughs> so this is Palisade. Yeah. It's kind of quiet, huh? I like it that way. But still. Was it worth it to build a whole railroad just for this place? Well, Palisade wasn't the destination. It was just a part along the way. From here, Silver can go anywhere in America. That's pretty cool, but still, this town is boring. Well, it's so calm and peaceful. Why don't we stay here in 1875? Listen, you two, you need to get a down to a here. Wait, maybe I spoke too soon. Nothing to be peaceful out here until you have my money back from that scoundrel. There you are, you sober thief. I ain't with me. I should tell you to my wits in front of that video. I said those are not my eyes. <laughs> Selfish ghost. All you care about is using me to make history exactly the way you want it. 
When I don't want to change one little thing, you won't even let me. What did you do that for? Quit putting it out before you burn down the entire town. No, I'm tired of you ordering me around. Send me back home this minute. Yum! This wood is tasty! Let's burn it down! Indeed, indeed. You were trapped in that lantern for so long. Look at this town! It's all made of wood here. Bon appetit! More like bonfire appetit. Quick, Emily! To the Jackson house! It's made of bricks. It won't survive the fire. Costume party 
inside of a beautiful opera house, complete with chandeliers, a lovely stage, and an excited audience. It was a happy night for all. And this tradition of having a New Year's Eve ball continued onward. The firemen still hold a New Year's Eve ball every year. It's been a Eureka tradition that has been carried on. And the rest, well, the rest is history. Thank you. 
Well, it was just meant to be. Carter wanted to see you, and they couldn't let him. He wanted to marry you. He what? Carter saw something special in you. And who would? Emily, the hooded hero of Eureka. <laughs> but alas, it just wasn't meant to be. So he survived? He did. Did you ever research those thousands of gunfights at the Palisade? No, I didn't. Well, it turns out they were all just an act. The people in Palisade enjoyed putting on the show for many, many years. He survived? He did. In his rush to get you to safety, he tripped and fell. Clumsy boy missed his train, but he didn't die. He went on to live many happy years after that. I wish I could have at least told him goodbye. He left you a gift. Whoa, a silver dollar. That's enough to bribe Eureka County. <laughs> maybe back in 1964, but there's this little thing called inflation. That dollar's not nearly worth as much anymore. He left you another gift. Have you ever looked and noticed that giant letter behind this building up on the mountain? Um, yeah, it's pretty hard to miss. It turns out that that big letter E actually stands for Emily. <laughs> That's what Carter wanted everyone to think it stood for Eureka, but it really stands for Emily. It was his little secret. Thanks. So what did happen to Carter? Well, Carter lived a long and happy life, and when he finally did die, he became a very friendly and very handsome ghost. <laughs> Good night, folks. Thank you.